Rev. Robert Trail or Trail, 1793 to 1847, was a clergyman in the Calvinistic oriented established Church of Ireland. The influence of Calvin was rejected by the Church of England from the late 16th century. He was rector of Shull, County Cork from 1832 until his death and part owned a copper mine in the area. Trail complained of losing tithes from the Roman Catholic population due to the 1830s tithe war but was recognized for his compassion during the Great Famine in Ireland from 1846. He was depicted in an illustrated London News article of the time and was the subject of a letter published in several newspapers. Trail was born in Lisbon, County Antrim, on July 15, 1793 the son of the Venerable Anthony Trail, 1755-1831, and his wife, Agnes Watts Gayard. He earned the degree of Doctor of Divinity and afterward, in 1832, was appointed the Rector of Shull, County Cork. He antagonized some local people with his fervent evangelical Christianity. He translated some of the manuscripts of Josephus, a first-century Jewish historian, into English. In 1840, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, his proposer being Thomas Stuart Trail. As an ordinary fellow, this indicates his physical presence in Edinburgh at that time, possibly to visit his cousin. He probably stayed with Trail at his grand townhouse. 10. Alban Place on the Moray Estate. Trail is said to have discovered copper at the Durrode Mine on Mizenhad, which first operated between 1844 and 1846. He was a major shareholder in the mine, and one of its six shafts was named after him. Trail was involved in the Tithe War, in which many Roman Catholics refused to pay tithes for the Evangelical Established Church of Ireland. A fellow clergyman was killed within 30 miles of Shull, and Trail lamented that the ungodly are rising up and these pure deluded Roman Catholics are caballing to deprive me of my tithes, alas! What wickedness is this? At the outbreak of the Great Famine in 1845 Trail believed that the ventilation of the traditional storage of potatoes in pits would save them from the blight, and he worked on constructing these potato pit air shafts from October 1845. However he realized this would not be successful and by December was trying, in vain to persuade the local landlords to let their tenants keep some grain so that they were forced to eat their seed potatoes. Trail established a relief committee for his parish and wrote widely to persuade people to subscribe to it. He was shown in the Illustrated London News visiting a dying man and his family, having been sketched by James Mahoney who said of Trail that his humanity at the present moment is beyond praise. Trail established a soup kitchen at his home to provide for the needy and wrote that my house is more like a beleaguered fortress. Ere the day has dawned the crowds are already gathering. My family one and all are perfect slaves worn out with attending them, for I would not wish, were it possible, that one starving creature would leave my door without something to allay the cravings of hunger. In February 1847 he showed Commander James Crawford Caffin of HMS Skirt some of those in the parish affected by the famine. Caffin wrote to a friend that in no house that I entered was there not to be found the dead or dying, never in my life have I seen such wholesale misery nor could I have thought it so complete. Caffin's letter was published in various newspapers, an act which brought some relief efforts from the British government to Shull. However by March this appeared to have ended when Trail stated the distress was nothing in Captain Caffin's time compared with what it is now. Trail is said to have spent most of his income on relief for the needy. Trail died of famine fever, typhus, on April 21, 1847. He was married to Anne Hayes, D.1890. He left a large family including two sons, three-year-old Robert Walter Trail and baby Edmund. The family moved to Dublin, where Robert studied civil engineering and Edmund Medicine at Trinity College before they abandoned their studies to become ranchers in Argentina. Robert Walter Trail's son was Johnny Trail, the noted polo player. Another of Trail's grandsons was John Millington Singh, the playwright. His great-great-great-granddaughter is TV producer and writer Daisy Goodwin. Goodwin wrote Trail into an episode of ITV's Victoria which told the story of the Great Famine, portraying a fictional meeting between the two. Trail was played by Martin Comston. References <laughs> 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 <laughs>